Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, first of all, let's talk about build 22.572 that was released yesterday. So um, a lot of people mentioning how they have problems with different things um, in the last few builds and the install, having problems upgrading to the latest build, uh, which makes me think that Microsoft should issue an uh, image um, to make sure that we have uh, the possibility to install, uh, clean install if you want. So uh, this is kind of an interesting um, thing to uh, that's happening for a lot of people and that needs to be fixed. Um, a few little things I wanted to mention um, in this build. So the install went well, pretty fast install on this machine, less than an hour in the all, you know, the full phase of just clicking, check for updates, downloading, and then the install. One of the things a lot of you noticed, and it is something that I had noticed, is how the download was kind of weird. Um, in my case, when I clicked on the, um, when I clicked on the um, Windows update, and I checked for the updates, uh, what happened is that it actually found a build, but it took a long time. It actually got stuck at downloading and it was like stuck at 7% and it stayed there. And for about, you know, 15 minutes, uh, all I could see was 7% downloading. And I was like, that's weird. But actually things were happening because what I noticed is even when it stopped that information, it was actually at installing 70%. It kind of jumped from download to install and it was already a full progress as if the status just didn't update here for the install process. But uh, overall from you know, like clicking check for updates until the install um, less than an hour and probably less, you know, not much more than a half an hour. I was very quick, I wasn't looking, so I can't really tell you exact time, but it was a very quick install. A few things to look at in this build and we're going to check it out, but we're going to actually focus here on some of the bug fixes that are actually uh, happening in this build. So build 22572. Um, one of the first things is the famous bug that when you right click on the taskbar or on the start menu, we had a full crash fixed. Thank God, because that was really annoying. Uh, one of the things also that they fixed and have improved and that is going to be interesting to see if maybe some of the problems you guys had with updates. So in the past week, we've had two servicing stack updates. And you guys might have noticed that the last build had two little updates that uh, pushed through during the week. And this update um, has also a serving, servicing stack update fix within the build. So we're hoping that this will maybe help fix some of the problems people have been having with Windows updates. So we're going to see about that. Uh, the things also that are improved, and that was improved in the week that was uh, ahead. If you are in the United States and you, of course, use the uh, Windows Sun system for uh, Android, um, well, the... Um, Windows subsystem for Android has uh, been improved and performance increased. A lot of people were talking about how sluggish it was, and especially for games. So these are things that were fixed in the last week or so. Um, apart from that, of course, a few uh, little changes in Fluent Design. There was all sorts of things that um, um, the um, they're, they're working on, basically. And one of them is Fluent Design. Fluent Design has been something that the um, the company has been pushing and continuing to push. So there are icons that have the new Fluent Design look to them and Fluent Design feel. So like the Windows Sandbox has a new Fluent Design app uh, icon that you can see here. Uh, maybe you'll see it better if I go to the start and type Sandbox. Um, not even so sandbox app here as you see this is the new icon fluent design type icon but uh, things are uh, improving on different sides and different 
um, icons across the a whole system of different apps. And the, uh, the this is something that is continuing. A lot of people asking me about Fluent Design, what's happening with that. Well, it's it's continuing. We're just going there and going into the uh, the different icons are being updated from time to time with all sorts of things. And, um, you know, everything is changed. And even the icons and the settings are being updated and tweaked. Uh, so there are new things um, in there. And... Um, they're introducing, of course, new apps also, and we're going to take a look at some of the stuff here. Uh, one particularly that will make a lot of people happy. Um, so um, that's going to be nice. Uh, one of them is a family app, Microsoft Family app. So this is going to be interesting to see what that brings to uh, us in uh, Windows. Now, I don't have anything that show up here, but... For those of you that miss the good old Movie Maker, Windows Movie Maker, there's a ClipChamp app that we're going to look separately in a separate video. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, things that are not on my system yet, but that are coming. A lot of you have been asking for File Explorer is coming with the tabs. Yes, tabs will be available. I don't have it yet on mine, but I've seen some demonstrations of some of you that have it. That's why they haven't actually talked about it on the uh, build because it's not everybody that has it and it's starting to get, get pushed into the builds. So yes, that means eventually on the stable version, one day, File Explorer with tabs will be available, which is good news. A lot of people asking for that. Uh, and this is going to be great. So uh, overall, um, stable, much more stable than the last version. And seems to work right. Uh, you do see still a lot of people having problems installing it. So uh, hopefully things are going to get fixed soon. And I think it's time Microsoft for us to have an image that we can install and download from the Windows Insider page. So more about the features that uh, are going to be checked out in uh, subsequent videos. Hope you enjoy our videos. If you do, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.